We're on the North Coast Trail in the Botanic Gardens today. Uh, this is where you'll find a majority of the California native plants within the gardens. Um, and in front of me uh, is a Ceanothus, one of many species of Ceanothus. Uh, there's uh, over 60 uh, species and varieties of Ceanothus in California. And they, uh, with tremendous diversity, um, you find them in various habitats from uh, the coast to the mountains and uh, uh, even um, stretching onto the uh, desert side of the mountains. Um, uh, the, uh, between all those species, you find the full range of leaf shape and glossiness and color from uh, uh, light matte greens to deep dark glossy greens. Uh, some leaves are toothed, some are smooth. Um, uh, one thing that most of them have in common is the flowers. Uh, the flowers generally bloom any time from late winter into spring, and most of them are some shade of blue. Uh, there's a few species that have white flowers. Um, this one that we're looking at today is a variety known as concha and it probably has one of the deepest uh, blue-violet uh, colors of, uh, of any of the varieties of Ceanothus. Um, one thing about Ceanothus, great plant, uh, uh, looks beautiful year-round, uh, retains those nice green leaves uh, throughout the summer, um, uh, but you have to be very careful with watering. They are very sensitive to summer water. It is just the, uh, the stereotypical uh, uh, chaparral plant um, adapted to our dry summer climate. Uh, excessive water in the summer can kill them very quickly. Um, other than that, they're fairly easy to grow. They're very popular. You're finding them more and more in uh, uh, nurseries, even some of the big box stores. Um, and again, a tremendous uh, variety. If you're looking for ground cover, uh, there's ground cover variety Ceanothus, um, medium-sized shrubs in the uh, three to five foot range, all the way up to some that are tree-like that can attain a height of up to 20 feet.